By now you should have your octopus being able to move up and down and right and left. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we cannot go through the wall. Otherwise, it defeats the purpose. I don't need to see my X and Y position, so I'm going to uncheck this. And basically every time we are touching the color blue, we should stop the octopus. So let's work on the right arrow right now, on this block. I'm going to put those blocks down for now, so they're not bothering me. And here I'm going to read what the code is doing. When the right arrow is pressed, when we need to chain x by 10. So the x coordinate of the octopus changes by plus 10. But I need to check if I'm at that point touching some blue color because then I need to back out. So in sensing, we have what we call some boolean block. A boolean block is always with these pointy arrows and it always returns either true or false. So for example, I can say am I touching a certain color? So is my octopus right now touching some color red? I can click on it and see that no, it's false, it's not touching red. I'm going to change this red by clicking on it and picking the color blue of my wall. And again, I'm going to ask the same question. Is it touching the blue? No, it's not. Let's place the octopus inside the wall and click on that block again. Is it touching the blue? True, it is. You can see the octopus is fully touching the blue. So I can use that question that returns a boolean and use it inside a conditional block. Go to control, we have some if statements. And the if statements always work with a boolean. If something is true, then execute what's inside this block. So what if I drag touching blue inside it? If touching blue, then I will want to back out, which means that in that particular case, I'm going to want to change x by minus 10. So let's test that. And over here, I'm going to go to the right, I'm pressing the key again, and I'm pressing a key again, but it's not moving. Why is it not moving? Because it's changing the x by 10, but then this question, if touching blue, returns true, so the if statement is true, then it's again removing 10 to the x coordinate. So I cannot go inside the wall. Now it's your turn to do the same thing for the other blocks. You need to back out when you're going up, when you're going left, and when you're going down. 